Hello, my friends. There has been a bit of controversy about this product over the weekend. It's actually quite an old controversy. There's videos about this and Elf ripping us off with this product. They go back at least three years. Uh, and this just seems to pop up every once in a while on whether this Elf primer is gives you what it says it's supposed to give you. If you look on the box, it does say that it's 0.47 fluid ounces. And there's videos proving that this Elf primer is way less than 0.47 fluid ounces. And me being me, of course, I had to test it. So if that sounds good to you, if you want to see if Elf is really ripping you off, let's go ahead and get into that right now. So what I did was I took my e.l.f. primer and I rinsed it out. I took all the product out because we want to make sure that we've got the right amount of fluid ounces in here. But before we put the do the test, let me just show you how the bottle works. So what happens is you open this up and you've probably seen this in other videos if you've seen this before. There's a wall here and then there's a smaller container in here. This is where the product is housed. And I think that's when people kind of get upset uh, about that there, uh, there's this little smaller bottle in here. I do want to show you the functionality of this and how this actually works. I'm just going to go ahead and fill this up completely to the top with water. So the way this type of bottle works is when you screw the top on, I'm just going to go ahead and put that on here. I'm making a mess already. And uh, let me actually, I'll, I'll hold this like this and hopefully you'll be able to see what's happening here. And as I pump the product, as I pump the water out, but we'll pretend like this is primer, you'll notice that the, uh, the stopper inside slowly moves inward. What that's doing is it's pushing the product up so that more product can be pumped out. Uh, and as we keep going, the stopper goes further up, more product comes out and eventually gets to the top and you run out of product. So when you purchase it, the stopper is all the way at the bottom. What I've done is I've filled up my uh, cooking little measuring cup with half an ounce of water. Uh, I use this for cooking all the time. I find it to be quite accurate. It's kind of the job of this brand to be accurate in this way. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna gently pour in the product here and we're gonna see whether it overflows like we see in a lot of videos. And oh, we're we gonna overflow, we're we gonna overflow. Oh no, not even close. Because, and it's actually um, going down to here. Uh, it's actually not all the way up. So if I take this and I pour this in, la da 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 we have half an ounce of water still. Uh, so I think what people are doing in order to scam this test, and I'll show you a clip of somebody's video right now. If you notice, he has the stopper pushed all the way to the top. So if I push the stopper all the way to the top, I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring this in. And what do you notice right away? Oh, it's overflowing. Oh my gosh, of course it's overflowing. The stopper's all the way at the top. If you look inside here, you can see the other little teeny tiny container that is hidden. So the actual amount, I, I was flabbergasted. I couldn't even believe it. I thought this is like the height of deception. Okay, so maybe this is a plastic piece holding all the makeup, except there's no bottom. Now, that's overflowing. That's over the top. And there's still a ton of water in here. That's when you're supposed to be out of product is when the stopper is all the way at the top like that. So I really do feel like either people just didn't, oh, of course I spilled it. Of course I did. I always spill everything. You know, I like to think of that people are good people and that they're not lying on purpose. So it's possible that they didn't realize that the stopper was all the way at the top when they did the experiment, or it's possible that they were lying and manipulating for views. But, but the fact is, Elf is not ripping you off with how much product is in this container, and you can be rest assured that uh, this is accurate. So I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. This is a bonus video for you this week. I will have my Manny MUA Lunar Beauty review coming out this week. That is going to be the big review for the week. I also have a Drunk Elephant review that I'm filming this week that will hopefully be out this week. If not, it'll be out next week. And thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, you can click subscribe down below. If you're coming back, welcome back. Thanks for being here. I'd love to know your thoughts either way down in the comments below. Mad love to you and I will see you in a video very, very soon. Bye!